three more proclamations. Uh, Donald Lawrence is coming. And then we have the city of Atlanta will receive the Donald Lawrence first and then the representatives from the city. Um, hello, everyone. Um, let, let me just start with this. This is from Music and Arts Global. It's a resolution, LaShawn Pace. Whereas we are, we, the board of directors and members of Music and Arts Global, the Edwin Hawkins and Walter Hawkins Music and Arts Love Fellowship Conference acknowledge the wisdom of God and do hereby submit to his divine will in calling home our beloved friend, Terion LaShawn Pace, on March 21st, 2022. Whereas LaShawn loved the Lord and exemplified God in her walk, in her talk, in her music, in her charitable deeds, and in everything she ministered through song, we feel that she believed God's word and followed his guidance, seeking his leadership in all she said and did. Whereas the Edwin Hawkins and Walter Hawkins Music and Arts Love Fellowship Conference was blessed to have LaShawn as a member of our conference family, she blessed us for many years recording soulful, power-packed, anointed songs such as I Tried Him For Myself, More Like Him In All The Way. Whereas we are always and will always remember LaShawn's smile, sense of humor, her love and kindness towards everyone, we extend our deepest sympathy to the family, friends, and have comfort in knowing that our Heavenly Father has taken a true worker of his to be with him in a land more beautiful than Sean will ever know. Be it therefore resolved that music and arts global will truly miss LaShawn Pace, that these words will be a comfort to her family and friends, and that a copy of this resolution be given to the bereaved family, and a copy will be kept in the permanent records of Music and Arts Global this second day of April in the year of the Lord, 2022. So that's that, and I, I wanted to come and just um, say to the Pace family, I, I love you. Um, Thank you for what you've brought to this, this world. Thank you for your music. Thank you for the people that you've blessed all these years. Just thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I met LaShawn many, many, many years ago. Um, I experienced her and it was before she had started doing the recordings, I kind of was on tour and I came home for a minute in North Carolina and there was a friend of mine who asked me to write a song for him and he was recording a live recording and I had a break so I ran up to Statesville, North Carolina and she was recording um, with Christopher L. Gray and I was so amazed because she came and did the song he wanted her to but there was another song that he did that he needed a different feel on the vamp and she hadn't rehearsed it, he just threw her the mic. And I just remember the vamp saying, do you wanna be happy? And she took that and she put this smile on her face and the room transcended. Um, you know, LaShawn is one of those people that when we say the phrase, we're in this world but not of it, when you experience her, you experience where she came from. There are some gifts that come into the planet that, trans, that transcends the room. There are people that you listen to and you love, but there are some people that you experience. We experienced LaShawn's voice. When she would open up her mouth and go, she, it would take you somewhere else. You would leave wherever you were sitting. You would, she transcended. It's the thing that I call the wow factor. It's the thing that where God puts a super on your natural, and it becomes supernatural when you hear that. And I feel like we've gotten away from that wow factor. I think we're so impressed with charts and stats and following that when people sing now, they don't transition you. You smile, but they don't transcend the room. And, and you know what? The Levites transcended the room when they sang. Their craft was so masterful that it would make you go home and practice. When you would hear LaShawn, it was like, I got to go back to the woodshed because I need to bring it up to this bar. I hope that we get back to where we can get back to the wow. Look at somebody said so let's get back to the wow let's get back to where we got some super on our natural and then when we sing we transcend rooms I also want to say this to Latrice 
I, I, I had her come to a session of mine in 2001, and I remember, I didn't know her that well. I had Dwayne Woods have her come, and I said, Latrice, in a few years, I'm going to start a traveling group, and I would love for you to come in and work with me. I'm going to do some small group. And I said, yes. And I, you know, I just thought I was going to put together some singers, and we was going to do what we do. I didn't realize that Latrice was an assignment. And um, over the years, um, you know, when you have an assignment, when they hurt, you hurt deep with them. When they cry, you cry. When you, they smile, you smile. And I had penned these lyrics for, if you know me, I'm so connected to my music family. They're like my blood. So this hurt me because I could feel Latrice wherever I was. And I remember penning some words for my music family to say that, you know, did you know that you were assigned to me? Did you know that when you hurt, I hurt too? Did you know that when you cry, I cry too? How do I know that you're assigned to me? Because when you succeed, it blesses me. For ministry to me is when I can plainly see you becoming all that God called you to be. So, Latrice, I'm speaking into you the saying that when the people that we love, they leave some tools for us. And I just think that you don't know what's going to happen to you next because I can see that LaShawn left some stuff for you and that we think we've seen you and we think we've heard what you can do. But wait till after this. Wait till after this. I, I can speak for this because I've been here before. Um, there's some tools she, she left you. And to Arian, I, I know that you and your mom were best friends. And I know that um, she, was your, she was your pusher. I want you to know Uncle Donald got you. Yeah. I told Latrice, when this happened, I said, whenever you are music people, there's a DNA code. There's a genetic code in you that's music. And the one thing that heals you is when you already is doing that. I told her to tell you, anytime you need to come out on the road with me, just tell me. I will sacrifice. I will bring you out. I'm going to make sure that the music that she started with you is going to finish. That, I want you to know that. <laughs> I'm not saying it here. I said it before I even got here because that's what you have to do. We're going to see to it that you take up the baton now and you carry the baton on. God bless you, everybody. I love you.